Hey guys, Shaver1000 here. Welcome back to another episode of Late Night in the Shop. Um, this is what we're going to work on tonight. Something floating around in there. We got two of them. So let's see if we can... Um, I can't remember what's wrong with them. Let's see if we can make them both work. Okay guys, this is what time it is. It's 12.06 a.m. Saturday, August 29th. Okay, so let's set that over here. What we got, sorry guys, I'm real close. I got this one here that works. I'm going to have to get some new leads though because this lead broke off. And it's also broke there and I can kind of fix that but I'll probably just get new leads um, this one does work let's flip this on and let's check the voltage on this these haven't been charged in a while so I'm guessing they're going to be about 1.3 they should be 1.5 I do believe okay 1.25 so at least we know what we're looking at if we can get one of the other ones fixed 1.31 okay so they haven't been charged they're rechargeable so what we're going to do is this one was rattling and then it stopped when I was uh, when I was doing doing the intro so let's go ahead and take this apart I, I, I can't remember what's wrong with them I know I had them apart before um, to see what because I was uh, checking them with a battery I think is what I was doing with them and um, hang on I gotta get a smaller shit smaller screwdriver okay there we go I think because you gotta take the the backs off of these to change the batteries I do believe they're 9 volt and I think I took took these apart to put a battery in to test them and I know there was something wrong with each one of them and I thought well I could take two and make one so that's what we're going to do tonight figure just a nice little quick fix possibly I don't know if we can get them to work they could have unforeseen issues set these over uh, I got a magnet tray somewhere okay yeah this one goes down in like this now I don't I don't think I can solder that so I believe what I was going to do was going to take the guts out of this one I remember right and I was going to put in this one because this one's a lot cleaner it's a lot nicer but let's go ahead and take this apart sounds like there's stuff rattling around in this one too it's an older one but I can't remember what was wrong with this one? I got like two or three more. They're not this style though. Okay. All right, there's a spring out of something there. I do remember that now. The spring. Um, where does it go? Uh, see, this one's got a different style fuse in it than this one. if the fuse is any good or not I 
Let me get my eyepiece here and look inside there. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I like that they made them removable back in the day. This one you can't just pull it out. You just, you know, you got to unsolder it. Um, so let's use this one. Let's see, what are we going to put it on? Let's check the continuity. Let's see here. So I'm guessing this fuse is blown. I may have one like this. I don't know. I got some glass fuses over there. You can see it should be, it should be doing that, but it's not. So first thing I better do before I get too far is uh, go see if I can find one of these fuses and I'll have to see what size it is so hang on let me go get a fuse for it I'll be damn I found one still don't know where that spring goes so let's check this one out okay this is a good fuse all right so see it's a bad fuse this is a good fuse put that one there this got a you can calibrate it there uh, this one you cannot I don't even know if I can I could probably re-solder that but I don't let's see let's just go ahead and this one's broke, so let's take this out first. A couple little screws. It looks like there's four of them. And the screwdriver is not magnetic. And this, um, that's a chip. I believe it's called a blob chip. You can't replace them, which I don't have the right tools to replace something like that anyway if I had to replace a chip. Should have checked to see what it was on first, but go ahead and take this out. Alright, move this over here. This goes down in here. This is the switch that I'm screwing up. How did that go in there? I can't see the other one. See how it comes out. I believe it was something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's this one set on? 20. So I'll take this out. I don't know that it matters. I've never had one of these apart before. So, bear with me. I've seen them taken apart before. Uh, but I've never took one apart myself. Try not to bump that. Okay. 
I'm surprised they don't have a screw in here to hold that right there because when you're pushing those things in there that puts pressure on them and it'll break that board that's what happened to that one I'm guessing that's the only thing that was wrong with it now as far as that little spring goes I have no idea well I have no idea where it went now there it is I have no idea where the spring goes so and there's a little ball there I wonder how many of those alright let's go ahead and push this out try to get this out of here so I had that on 20 okay now there's another ball there I don't know where they're coming from Well, okay, let's just go ahead and we're going to put this on 20. Like that. Looks about right. We're going to put our little, kind of like that yellow switch better. Let's put the yellow switch in it. I don't know where them balls went and I don't know where that spring went. You know? On 20, that's on. And now let's set this down in here. Man, I'd like to know where them little them little BBs went. I may have to research that. Oh, careful with that. Oh, there they go. Okay. Okay, so. Alright. So, what we got to do. Put one in there. Where'd the other ball go? There it is. One in there. We'll put this on 20. Uh oh. Switch just came out. I don't think it really matters. Oh. Uh oh. I heard it. I can't do that too many more times. I know it went on the floor. There's a piece of plastic broken there. And I still don't know where that other spring went. Alright, we got this there. Let's get the switch back down in here. this in here now let's put some screws in here You guys think it's going to work? Let me know in the comments down there. Because see, the thing of it is, I don't even know if this worked. <laughs> I guess we probably should have tried it first. But, 
like I said, that spring. Where's that spring go? Only one of them had it. And this should just make contact onto that pad, the uh, screen. I hope. I hope the screen's not different, you know what I mean? Because if it is, I'll have to check the. And I don't know how to calibrate one of these. I've never had to do it before. They've just always worked, you know. <laughs> I've actually never had one that didn't work that I had to work on to get it to work. <laughs> but. Yeah, I didn't see a spring come out of the other one, so. Not sure what that's all about. Uh oh. I don't like the sound of that. So let's turn this off. Let's put a battery in it. I know this is this is a brand new battery. Okay. Well, first let's put the uh, fuse in it. Let's put the battery in it. Flip it on. Um, let's get these see this one oh I got it yeah, let's see see this one's reading that on that so I mean oh look at that son of a bitch so this one I don't know. I don't know if I can get this fixed or not, guys. I know some guys can, but I don't think I can. Definitely got to have that because that's the common. That's your ground, you know. So. Um. Push this out. Just get it. I can kind of see where it was soldered on. Like that. That's what it looks like. Now I should be able to just drop some solder around there it looks like but maybe down in here Let me scrape that off you guys can't see nothing damn it Now, if I can drop some solder down in there, that might work, but, uh, man, I doubt it. I don't know. Okay, so, let me find my solder gun. We're going to try that. Okay, I did find another negative lead. It's not the right one, but it'll work for now. One point three four. Okay. This one, I think, was a 1.28. Let's check it. Yep, there it is. 1.28. All right. So we got this to work. Uh, so not bad. The the other one I may try to fix it in another video. If you want me to, leave it in the comments below. We'll try to get this one working. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that ball bearing because I heard it hit the floor and. From there, I have no idea where it may have went. Hmm. That's weird.
Well, I don't know. I don't know why that's... There we go. Got to be careful with them. I broke them before on... Not on one of these, but on something that took one of them. Okay. Alright, hopefully... That recorded. I don't know if it did or not. Let me check it. Okay, guys. I was just going over my footage. I'm sorry. I did not record soldering this. But I'll show you down in here. If I can get it to focus. I soldered it right on that end there. Let's get some light in there. Right there is where I soldered it. So... Anyway, that's what I did. It kind of got a little hot, and uh, this is kind of off to the side there just a little bit. See? Um, it's not like pushed all the way up in there, but I mean, it is what it is for what I have to work with. So, But it does work. You guys seen that. So anyway, you know. So... <laughs> Sorry I didn't get to film that for you, but, and I just, I took this apart to show this to you, and I lost a screw out of it. So, I mean, it's just, it's always something, I guess. Um, I'll just go ahead and use these two screws, because these are black screws, and they'll match, so. Alright, just drop that one. Hang on, I'll be back with you. Okay. I found the other silver screw, but I can't find a black one. So, we'll put the two silver ones in. Jeez. That's the thing about, you know, when you're dealing with small screws like that, I mean, you, you would think they'd have a better way than to where you have to take the whole back off and just to change a battery and you've got all this stuff exposed once you take that back off of there you know I mean come on there's there's better ways of doing that okay let's check it again yep it's on Let's check. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. We'll touch these together. Running continuity, see? So, yeah, it's working. Alright, so, I'll get me the regular leads for this thing. And, uh, should go to zero. Yeah, okay, it's good. Alright. Now, alright, time to chit chat for a minute, alright? Hang on. Okay guys, so there, we got it fixed. Um, sorry I forgot to record that. <laughs> because I I went to do something, I went to, I went to hit the record button to turn it on and it shut it off. And then, no, I went to shut what I thought, when I was soldering, what I thought I went to shut it off to stop recording and it started recording so anyway sorry about that but I did also I did get this one fixed that crack that was cracked there I put a piece of uh, heat shrink on there and also got the end back on all I did was pulled it out pulled this little pin out of there stuck the wire in then stuck the pin in it so that'll work That'll work for a while. Um, so we did get it fixed. Um, 
seems like it's working okay now so I have a backup this one I got to looking at I think I might be able to fix it if I can find that other BB <laughs> I don't know um, if it went clear under the bench I doubt if I ever find it I may run a magnet back in there but if it's out in here somewhere I'm sure I'll find it when I'm sweeping up but yeah sorry you didn't get to see that solder but really all I did was just you know put a piece of solder on there and some flux it's some pretty good flux here um, it soldered fine so I think it'll be alright um, what I may do is up inside there where that is I may put some hot glue there like like a little button so that way when this gets pushed on it pushes this out a little bit and I got to look in that little piece of plastic that broke when I when I had this one apart there's a piece of plastic that clips in like a little clip that holds that from breaking now one of these was um, let's see, like, like there's one of these that came with it that was really too long and I think what they did when they pushed it down in they pushed it too hard and it broke it um, I'm guessing I don't know but I'm pretty sure that would work but at least we got two now <laughs> no rattles no more anymore and um, so we may have three if you want to see me try to fix the other one uh, leave it in comment below because I would like to try to fix it and see what's going on I think what happened what was wrong with this was I think the screens were different um, they are pretty much the same but they are a little different now this one's got older guts in it now but so I mean it may have something to do with that but when I changed the screen it came up the way it was supposed to be so alright guys well appreciate it tomorrow we're going to get a uh, what do you call it? a U-Haul truck we got to bring a um, a refrigerator out here the one that's in the kitchen now is going to come out here we're going to give this one away the one that's out here and uh, the one from her mom dad's is going to go in our kitchen it's a nice fridge it's about the same size it's a little different the the uh, the door for the for the freezer the freezer door this thing is weird man it kind of comes down like this and over and down and then the refrigerator door comes up and it's really weird looking I'll have to show it to you but yeah it's but anyway I think but uh, I think it goes by cubic feet does that sound right cubic inches cubic feet cubic inches inches is an engine uh, so I think it's the same cubic feet I do believe it is um, but anyway I think it's the same size it's just it's set up a little different but <coughs> ours has a problem with the uh, where the water goes in at there's two or three different like solenoids in there and one of them's letting it's not shutting the water clear off so it was leaking uh, this one seems to be fine so and it's not that old of a fridge so we're gonna bring it out and put it in in the kitchen bring put ours out here and then this one we'll give away to somebody if they need one for a shop or a garage or something I mean it's fine for that but so anyway guys thanks for watching I appreciate it uh, what time is it it is da, 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 113 because I did I did mess around I was fixing that one lead for a few minutes 113 can you see that yeah. so anyway another late night in the shop night somebody just uploaded a video JP productions there you are, buddy. Go check him out, too. Pretty cool dude. All right. I got to go, guys. Getting late. Got a long day tomorrow. Doing stuff I shouldn't be doing, but oh well. It is what it is, right? Don't get done by itself. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear the Myth, the man legend. Gone for now. Y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.